Hello, 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 fabulous ladies. Um, I am making this video as a follow-up to our team meeting, which was on Monday. And I'm gonna make these each week or possibly bi-weekly uh, starting out and we'll see how it goes from there. Just to give you guys something to focus on and something that I think that we need to cover, just some additional training for our team. So this week I'm gonna be talking about um, not doing busy work, but doing work that is productive. So not to be busy, but to be productive. So um, we're gonna talk about some income producing activities. I have my laptop here and um, Liz Medley talks a lot about this and has posted several things about this. Um, and so I'll try to send the list as well to you guys, but there's definitely some income producing activities and there's four that she's listed. Number one is to sell the product. Number two, build a team. Number three, marketing and number four, personal development, which that is my favorite one. Um, here, let me move over here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so with selling the product, the main things you can do, I think we all know, are to basically host a party. They can be home parties or online parties. Every time I get on video, I think my hair is a hot mess, sorry. And then I pull on it. Um, so you can be home parties, you could do consults, you can do um, events, things like that. You can have cash and carry. It's definitely a great way to sell because you can just run into people um, anywhere that want to buy mascara right then and there. Um, also, you could do like customer appreciation open house. You can do um, open houses. I don't know. She has a whole list of things, but I'm starting a customer rewards program in my group just to kind of keep people loyal to me and keep them coming back and purchasing from me. Um, I also do um, newsletters where I message people. I do blast newsletters to people um, with like updated information. Um, and I did that from downloading my Facebook list and like getting all the emails from that and also like my Yahoo account list. But there's so many different things you can do to sell the product. So number two was to, bear with me, build a team. Um, you're gonna best way to build a team I found is basically to sell the product, but also to offer the opportunity to people. Um, so your customer, best customers typically make your best um, salespeople, right? But also, you never know who needs the opportunity, and you're basically just a way for them to find um, the business and find a solution to a problem that they, they that they have. So you never know where somebody is in life. Um, one of the people on my team, who's still with me, yay. Um, she just wanted to make some extra money. She's in school. And so, um, she wanted to sign up to make a few extra bucks every month. Everybody has their own different reasons. Some people sign up because they want to get a discount on the makeup. Some people sign up because they don't want to work anymore and they want to stay home. I got a couple of those on the team. They don't want to work. They want to stay home. They want, they love unique. They feel passionate about it. Um, so everybody's got their own journey. Number three, marketing. All right. So this one's a little bit different and that basically comes down to your presence on social media and also just your public relations, I'm going to call it, but basically your networking skills. Um, so when you're on so online, that's basically a lot of people use Facebook. I think there's over a billion users on Facebook. Um, maybe it's a lot more than that, actually. Billion users on Facebook. Um, and that check it daily. That's the recent statistic that I heard today, actually. So you really want to, you have an opportunity to be in front of a lot of people. The more friends you have, I think if you're not adding friends every day, you're really missing out. Uh, don't be shy to do that. I've added over a thousand friends in, this month to my Facebook group and I already had over um, 1,500. So um, just keep adding people and interacting with them and just p keep posting and you'll see that you're going to get a lot more interaction. Also, make sure that your profile is public. Um, I still post pictures of my kids and things like that, but sometimes I do make some of them private um, just so that not everybody can see them, just my friends, which at this point, <laughs> that's a lot of people. So um, I just think you can't live by fear of things happening if you do have children and things like that. Just make your profile public and you'll see that your business um, benefits from that because of the algorithms that Facebook has. It's just helpful. Also, um, you need to post videos. Like I post a lot of videos on my wall and my group. Um, I make a lot of videos. I just think that it, that's how people take things in. 
they just don't want to read all the time and so a video is just more engaging they get to know you they get to know your personality and people buy from people that they like all right so i'm going to move on to the last but not least personal development so if you're in this business and you no matter what your reason is for it i think this is definitely something that you should take advantage of is that with any network marketing company they're going to really talk to you about personal development so I've read books like Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, books that really anybody in the world should be reading in order to like understand how to be successful in life. Uh, but I've also read some network marketing specific books as well. Um, so I just think the personal development side of things is really one of the best benefits of this business is that you get to grow as a person and you learn so much. So if you're not doing that, then that's definitely something I think you need to start to do immediately. Um, so let's recap again. You want to, you don't want to be busy. So you don't just want to be posting. You don't just want to be um, doing all these other things. The most important thing definitely is the networking, which is marketing, because um, that's stuff that you do behind the scenes that not necessarily people see. Um, if you're messaging people on Facebook, if you're networking out in the community, um, say you volunteer, say you donate items at your local church or other churches, um, that's all marketing your business. That's marketing yourself, and that's gonna reap. You're gonna reap what you sow. The more you put out there, the more you're gonna get back. So, just think about that. Just really try to get out there, be friendly, like interact with people. Um, just say hello. Like if you know, I met a cashier at Kroger, and she said she liked my makeup, and I was like, well, I actually sell makeup, and um, I do free consults. So maybe you wanna get together. Gave her my got her number. Actually, I didn't have any cards on me. Tisk tisk. Um, but I at least got her number and I asked if she had Facebook, so that was good as well, connected with her through that. So um, just, I think that the things you do behind the scenes, um, person development, connecting with people, are definitely going to boost your business more than anything, but also posting on social media and obviously selling um, is gonna make a big difference on your success as well, because the more that you sell, the more parties you have and things like that, the more you're, easier it is to grow your network because those people have seen you in some capacity if they've attended a party that you've hosted. So that's kind of like an easy way to network. Anyway, um, that's it for the video. Ladies, hopefully you got something out of it. And let's remember, let's not just be busy, but let's be productive and let's do these activities that are income producing activities. All right, thanks for watching. Love you all.